This is Chicago. Till I die, I ain't never leaving the gang. I done got shot like 30 times. Come pull out Rob, Pull out to parties, Toes be pregnant when we leave. Let me put it to you this way. When the lights go off, you know something is up. We got a large crowd, got 362 in the back of Parkway. I need EMS now. We got one more shot. Got another one inside. We got one more piece. Chicago faces an epidemic of gun violence. While Chicago homicide rates overall have dropped 13% from 2022 to 2023, certain neighborhoods I'll be going to are active war zones for rival gangs with higher murder rates per capita than the most violent cities on earth like Tijuana, Mexico. But why is everyone shooting each other? Is it really as bad as the media makes it out to be? And is there any hope to stop this multi-generational gang war? So I met up with members of multiple gangs in Chicago to try and understand Stand. On everything. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, we're alive? This can't be smart. Oh, hell no. We don't bite. But before we go into the trenches, does the average person in Chicago feel safe? No, not at all. It has been very unsafe. We need to support public safety. It really is unsafe here. Is the police doing a good job at enforcing the lie here? I don't think so. They're very hands off. Are the gangs running amok out here with guns or what? I think so, yeah. You feel safe out here in Chicago? I love Chicago. Pretty safe out here? It's pretty safe. Okay, cheers. It became clear people were split on this one. What have you seen change out here in Chicago? Because I imagine the 80s and 90s is pretty intense as well. No. No? Much better. So it's much worse right now in the 90s? Much worse. Even worse than the crack era. I think there's more sporadic acts of violence now, and it's happening more so in all the different neighborhoods due to the economic issues, you know, that the city's facing. I think uh, the violence in Chicago part is overrated. Okay, good to know. How many years have you been out here? I've been in Chicago for 40 years. Has it changed over that 40 years? Uh, tremendously, for the worse. People just don't care about people anymore. The way we are, we're Jehovah's Witnesses, and we teach people to love each other, and love has gone. People have no respect for the Bible. It's very different the last few years. What has changed? The uh, level of violence. There was a shooting not too far from here. A couple weeks ago, some kids were coming out of a charter school, and they got shot. Depends on what time of the day. What time does it not get safe? Five and beyond. I'm, I'm safe, I think that. Chicago ass. Bien? Yay! Yeah. Right. Beautiful. It's amazing. Well, I'm a nanny. I gotta be careful where I take him. There's a lot of crime around this neighborhood. Downtown? Yeah, downtown. Robbery. I got my phone stolen at the bus stop. Do you feel safe out here in Chicago? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. Is the north side known for being a little bit safer? I think so, yeah. Okay. So. Do you feel as if there's danger in the air in any way? No. There you have it. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. See ya. He's munching. Do you feel safe out here in Chicago? Yep. Not really. No? Not during the night. I was walking in Evanston where I went to school at Northwestern and some crazy man came up to me and groped me and slapped me on the street. You got assaulted? I got assaulted and he's in jail. So okay, I did testify. Good for you. Hype. Yeah, there you go. Put him in jail. Put him in the slammer. Would you go on a run at night? I have. I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. It just depends on what neighborhood you're in. Uh, what parts are dangerous from your perspective? West, south. I've heard like west, south side. I think south side mostly. The south side for sure. Are we in north side? No, oh, I want to say that. Sure, you're on a leash. <laughs> Thank God I don't like deliver some places that I don't feel comfortable with, like pretty much the south side. Do you deliver to O-Block? No, I don't. It's, it's, it's all neighborhood based and most of it's like gang related. You'll hear like there's crime down here, but all the crime down here is just uh, like petty theft, breaking into cars. You go to certain neighborhoods, there's a lot more violence there. It's unfortunate. Uh, those are generally like lower socioeconomic areas. So why are you so curious about gun violence in Chicago? We're trying to understand the root cause of that. If there's a solution and how it got to that point. So you guys are in the wrong neighborhood for gun violence. Where's the gun violence? West, south. So we headed to Inglewood, the fourth most dangerous neighborhood in Chicago, where violent crime is 792% higher than the national average, with a 1 in 33 chance of being murdered, raped, robbed, or assaulted, to meet up with a member of the gang, the Black Disciples. Bali just whipped out a massive gun out of his backpack. I think got a safety on it? I got the safety off. We ran through the ops right now, really, for This is ops territory? This is the ops. I'm black to type, I'm BD, but everybody from my hood ain't BD, so we got everything. It was lords to this bitch, moles, niggas GD around me, all types of shit. You're telling me out here in Chicago and in Inglewood, you can get away with murder practically? You gotta do it right. You just real GTA. I know a couple serial killers on phone. Allegedly. Allegedly. So we're in ops territory right now. Uh, is, is there any risk we should be aware of in ops? Hell yeah, y'all see a group of niggas, let me know. Actually, 
Is our life in risk right now? Hell yeah, they are. Blow this down. Huh? Now keep in mind, at this point, I'm thinking Bali is playing it up for the camera and this is all nonsense. You, you make it left right here. Make it left down 73rd. We hit real ops. You feel me? This how, this we playing through the shit like this. Folks driving like this, we ain't playing. All right, this is where they be at. This is where they be hiding at in the summertime. Okay, but I'm not going to be a chauffeur to, or an accomplice to anything today, right? Man, if, hey, you with me. You in the car with me. This is it right here. It's his birthday today. It's his birthday. Yeah, he died in 2012. It's his birthday today. How did he die? Uh, he got shot. He got killed. The ops killed him. So was it dangerous growing up out here? Uh, not really till I started getting involved. You were great getting involved or what? I didn't want to get involved, but my brother was already involved. Are there any benefits of being involved? Sick. Ain't no love in the streets for real. They told they told me that when I was a child, ain't no love in the streets. And I was looking for love. I was gang banging. I, I hanging with the thugs and shit. And shit, I, I see now I'm older. Ain't no love in this shit. And against my better judgment, Bali let me hold his prop, and I got my prints all over it. Man, you holding it wrong. <laughs> so you're gonna wipe my prints off this, yeah, right? I'm gonna wipe your prints off. You holding it wrong. You know uh, how to. You know how to. Hold. Chicago PD, I'm not involved in any crime. Can you show me the technique for print wiping? Oh, it's that simple. <laughs> That's simple. I think your, your print's not even in the database. What you, what you, you never went to jail. Look, y'all got gloves. I'm gonna take y'all on the murder. I'm gonna take y'all on the murder. <laughs> Turn the camera off. I'm gonna take y'all. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> People go kill 10 people. Whoa! We've been quit a block up. This was for fictional and entertainment purposes only. This is pure fiction yeah, and entertainment. And as we waited in the neighborhood for Bali's business partner, Drizzy Draco, two of Bali's other friends saw us and hopped in our rental. Spin Reaper, man. Just a week, man. Spin Reaper, what are you up to today? And I'm chilling in the neighborhood, man. <laughs> you got lots of uh, ladies out here or what? Yeah, it's a lot of ladies out here. Folks be pimping too. You be pimping? Yeah, I be pimping, man. How many ladies you got under management? Like two bitches right now. But they good selling bitches. They're beautiful? Yeah. Where, where do you source your ladies? Uh, they come to you. Yeah, they come to you. Okay, so the, the natural riz brings them in? Hell yeah. How, what's the cut? What's the cut looking like? Everything. Everything? Everything. What does she get? Take she get up. whatever. Yeah, there you go. Hey, my job. My job. <laughs> man, how you doing, bro? The whip's a little tight. Sorry, my man. name's Tyler. What are you up to today, bro? What's your name? Juicy. Juicy. What are you doing today, Juicy? We on the block with it. Hard? What does it mean to be a reaper? Man, you gotta catch that cow. Ghost. Man, I told you, I told you. Cow, man, I ain't gonna let you. I know a couple serious. This ain't no joke. What do you mean? Yeah, this I'm explanatory, bro. I can't tell you no more. People are, people are disappearing out here on occasion. There you go. After discussing their current employment, Drizzy Draco had finally arrived. You wanna introduce yourself? Drizzy Draco, man. Welcome to the trenches. I just brought my boy Tyler to the trenches. Y'all better not fuck with him on game. He, no. you feel me? What, what do we got here? What do we got here? You know, some, some for protection, you know? Heard. Nice Something little prop. Well, a well-made prop by a great prop designer. Yeah, yeah, you know. Oh, you know how we yo. Out of Them niggas in trouble with ball. We got trigger safety. Ball. Don't worry, guys. Niggas got ducked. All the ops, all the haters. You feel me? We, we fucking niggas bitches. When we pull up to parties, niggas hoes, we leave. Niggas hoes be pregnant when we leave. <laughs> on everything, though. What's going on? What's going on? You playing games on me? We don't play. <laughs> At this moment, I'm under the impression that these guys were trolling me and cosplaying as gangbangers. But little did I know, Bali was on Instagram Live waving his Draco, flashing $2,000 in cash, and telling his ops to come rob and kill us. Don't pull up on us. I'm not affiliated, but I'm with the boys. How we do? I thought he was filming an Instagram story, but in reality, I just introduced myself to the ops on the block on Instagram Live. Y'all check out Drizzy Draco and Bali Fat Spin. That's right. Out now on YouTube and all rap. We got an Be when you outside in Chicago. We need to get back? We just going down. You just trying to make me poop my pants? Going down. Yeah. What's your favorite book? My favorite book? Hold on, hold on. Let me, oh. let me get on S. Let me get on Hold on. We got an op? Record? No. Little did I know. A year ago, Bali and Drizzy Draco were interviewed by this guy. It was basically the exact setup of my interview, but at night, and it ended with a drive-by shooting from the ops. See that I know one thing, but yeah. Y'all know who that is? You, you were in war position. What, what did you think you saw? Oh, play with shit. We gonna, we gonna blow something down through this. What would you see? I'm just on every car. You think we're gonna get shot today or what? Yeah. Oh, we're alive? Yeah. We're alive, you gotta show the life. We're gonna get biffed. Aggressive, better not be hey, no. <laughs> This can't be smart. We're live? 
That can't be smart, right? That's how you get real, though. What? Walk around with Do two it. bucks on me, nigga. Come pull up rob me, nigga. Come pull up and rob me, nigga. I'm not be out here with that shit on us. Pull up and rob me, nigga. Who's he got? Man, so the plan right now is to, you're trying to get people. Oh, hell no! These guys were so calm, I didn't realize the gravity of how stupid this all was until this car pulled up and I thought we were gonna get shot. Just call it a day. Call it a day. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't That's wanna it. die. That's it, boy. That's it. Hey, it's been a pleasure. Realizing our exact location was doxxed to the ops, I called off the interview for everyone's safety, including my own. The we ops just came on the line. No, 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 no. Thank you. You gotta send, send me my cabs before you get out of my present. All right, all right. Okay. Wow. We definitely just witnessed uh, almost a shootout. Oh, wow. Irresponsibility at its finest, but um, nice guys to us. Not to the ops, though. They were on the, They were en route. They were on their way over when we left. The ops were en route? The ops were en route to kill us. 100%. The ops joined the live. Bali said, you can get away with murder out here. It's like GTA. And I believe him. After almost ending up a gun crime statistic myself, I headed over to Little Village to meet members of the 2-6 gang to understand why people join and stay in these gangs despite them being so dangerous. All right, I'm here with... Risky. Escobar. It's, it's, yeah, it's dangerous everywhere, but we're here. It's just like, it's, it's just too much violence. Sometimes a little too much, you know? A lot of innocent people die. And so that, a lot of innocents getting caught in the crossfire? Uh, man, I'll tell you, I'll tell you more innocent people has died than their own guys sometimes, you know? And that's sad because... Talking about like women and children or what? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Well, nah, you don't have. You it's don't, like you know. constant warfare. It's, not, look. it's been like this for years since we were born. You know, I'm we were like, what you said, we were look, born right. into this. You know, we were born into this neighborhood. You trying to walk the hood? Ah, uh, sure. Are we gonna walk through the hood? Yeah. Uh, all right. So, or is it dangerous? Are we gonna get killed? We're gonna be good. All right, let's go. Yeah. Are you we'll, scared? Now nah, we'll be good. Unless, I mean, you think we're gonna get bipped or what? Nah, I got to. Thank you, brother. So we headed into the neighborhood where most of these guys grew up in. Look at um, hardworking people. Yeah. Always, they're always out here when it's cold. We got entrepreneurs. Out. They're just hardworking Mexicans. Uh, Peregrosa? No. No. Bien? Never bien. These guys are chilling. They're making money. They're grinding. Hell yeah. yeah. So, so no one messes with these guys, right? They be trying to rob them, though. Really? The blacks be trying to rob them. They be robbing them, but like, we don't, we, we're not racist, but damn, you finna rob the vendors? They're making a living. Go work, motherfucker. Would any of you guys stay here your whole life, even if you got the bag? Man, it's it's it's. Yeah, hell yeah! I'll, I'll buy the whole block. So you guys want to buy the block, and make it better rather than leave? If it's possible, I would love to buy a complex and help those people. I do want to move. Like, I'm not tired of it. It's just like you ready to move on? Like I, it, this is not a place to raise your kid for real, for real. Would you guys die for each other? Yes, yeah, yeah. This neighborhood right here, right here. This is where all you guys grew up. Yeah, I used to right grow up right here, man. You can record that motherfucker. Right there on top. Oh wow! The kinks came. I was in the window. They shot my brother through the corner. Actually, that was like three months hey, popped out. Me? That's why we grew up. Any of you guys ever been shot before? Hell yeah! Yeah, I got shot with not a whole not not switch. Not Just a little. Yeah. yeah. Would you guys ever wear a bulletproof vest? Hell no. Nah. I don't got shot like thirty times. Thirty times? You got hit thirty times? Nah, I didn't get hit. How many times did you get hit? I got hit that day. It happened. I got hit with a switch. I ain't gonna lie. They snap. I'm gonna give them props. What'd you do to piss them off? I probably f me bitch. Uh, I see them. You think you'll die out here? Maybe. I can't. Yeah. Man, we, 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 we live for this shit. You know? What if, what if you do die out here? Would you have regretted being involved or no? Man. no? Of course not. Look at the people I've met. Look at the relationships I've I built. I see. This is family. This is brotherhood. You know, this is brotherhood. Would you take, could you keep the family and take out the risk? Of course. Be killed out here, man. Of course. Just yeah, kill to be killed. Kill to be killed. Kill to be killed, man. You better keep your gun with you. You, you. You out here in the hood, posted up, doing doing whatever, speaking hypothetically. You killing, you you doing what you're not supposed to do. You're sinning. What the fuck's gonna happen to you? You know, you might get hit back with it. Exactly. So you know that, but you're still here. Right. Cause I love these niggas. Yeah, I love them. It's hard sometimes, cause you grow up with them. You know, you I can I can move to Texas if I wanted to next week. But what about my brothers? You know. What if you guys all dip together? It's LB it's Rob. LB Rob, but. You got on sick, right? Everybody got families too. Oh, I see. Everyone got mother, yeah. It seemed like the adrenaline of the conflict and the constant state of war combined with the sense of brotherhood and family keeps these guys in the gangs, even if they know it might someday cost them their lives. Yourself, There's man. a lot of love out here, a lot of respect from the community, it seems. Yup, that's what it's about. Some occasional spats. Yeah, and then you know, you got your goofballs, you know, trying to fuck shit up, but they can handle, you know? So, do you think it's more about community than it is 
violence and terror. Man, it's about sticking together, man. Yeah. It's about sticking Brotherhood. together, man, and just thriving, man, thriving together. But why are there so many gangs in Chicago? And how did these conflicts even begin? I met up with Chucky of the Gangster Disciples to understand their long-standing beef with the Latin Kings. That's in the bottle real quick, you know what I'm saying? You gonna take a shot with us, right? Ah, uh, man, you, you think I'll be able to get type it? All right. Is this uh, uh, what is this? So this is tradition right here. Before we open the bottle, we got everybody got a blessing. This is religious almost. Bless. All right, cool. Hey, bless. It's a gang tradition or what? Taking us out. Yeah. You know how that shit go, man. Yeah. Everybody taking a shot, gang shot. Ain't no cups around here. We just. All right, all right. I'm not about that lip to lip action though. I'll be real. Man, we ain't got a herpes, man. Keep good. Thanks for blessing me. Yeah, thank you. All right, so what gang are you guys a part of? Gangsters. Gangsters. Yeah. 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 Gangsters. Yeah
Nah, I got one. I got a wife, I got six kids. When your kids grow up a little bit, will you bring them into this life? Will you keep them out of it? See, that, that's, the, that's the thing. Oh, My son coming into this life, nigga, on oh, bro. Does he have a choice? Nah, yeah, he like... coming in. What if he doesn't want to come in? He coming in. All right. Tons in this I wondered if anything could be done to squash this multi-generational beef between the Latin kings and the gangster disciples. We, can we ever mend the beef? Ah, oh, hell. What if I brought you guys together in a debate and you guys... Passed down from generation to generation, folks, but I ain't gonna lie. I got this shit right here, folks. My nigga, they kill my nigga, folks. Fuck king. I'm king killer, folks. That shit pretty crazy. A lot of us don't even know how the war started. How did the war start? I can't even tell you. So why are you fighting it? Hey, hear me. Because I'm here. Until I die, I ain't never leaving the gang, nigga. This shit forever, nigga. This shit for life. Once a gangster, always a gangster. Nigga, big king killer. It seemed like these young guys were fighting a war that existed before they were even born. For reasons they may never know. Yet, every time one gang member gets killed by another, the cycle of violence and vengeance continues and is passed on to the next generation. So I met up with convicted and now reformed felon Lucky Chucky to understand how it's possible to get out of the gang life and move on. Yeah, you know, growing up on the streets involved with gangs and drugs, you know, it led me down the wrong path. So I wound up catching cases and going getting locked up at a very early age, 13, where I was exposed to this system. It led me to prison at the age of 17, being shot, stabbed, beat down, drugged to the ground, 13 years in prison. And it took me a long time to learn my lesson, but I had an epiphany, 2018, and uh, I've been on a righteous path since then. And we're gonna go check out Garfield Park, which yeah. is the most dangerous place in America, potentially. Every year, East Garfield Park, West Garfield Park, they always fall within the top three worst neighborhoods in Chicago, where they have more crime, than any other neighborhood in Chicago. Let's All right, it. let's, let's go. go. This is Garfield This is Park, the west man. side. And uh, there was two cop cars parked on this next block up here. And a uh, guy was just getting the shit out of them right in front of the police. And I, I remember walking past the cop cars looking at them and they just stayed inside their car. They didn't even get out of the car. Why is that? I think these police play gang politics, excuse me, culture politics too. So if someone, for an example, someone touches a girl who's 15 years old and they're, you know, the police would say, you know what, let the hood handle that because he did it, you know what I mean? Well, the street police and the real police. Absolutely. And then uh, gang violence, of course, because the park is in the middle between two separate gang factions. Uh, so I don't know if y'all remember, they, they, they uh, by maybe a year or two years ago, they were finding bodies in the water over there. So look at how dirty these fucking neighborhoods are. Look at this. You got fucking bottles and garbage fucking everywhere. Where's the older men up to clean the fucking neighborhood? What type of pride do you have in a community if you can't even keep the streets clean, right? See him? Yep, they all, they all working. They all working. Look at them. They know what they're doing. Look at he's, he's trying to wave us down. Here's what they do. People see you like that guy did. He looked at me, right? I'm a Caucasian man in a car. I'm a white guy. You know, first thing they do is, hey, that's what they'll do. They'll try to get your attention because they think you're out. They think I'm out here probably getting dope or getting, you know, weak. And is this where the majority of gun violence goes down here in Chicago? A lot of violence, not just from like here on this corner, but the whole area. You know what I mean? Technically, right now, we're, <laughs> there's been people that got shot right there, shot right there. We, anything, we, we could be sitting here right now. You just never know. Pop, yeah. Pop. yeah. Yeah. I had a friend of mine at a barber shop right down the street. I had a friend of mine get killed right in that barber shop. He's getting his hair cut. They walked in there and shot him right in the head. How is it out here in Garfield? You got muff that's doing drugs and fentanyl, and then you got these migrants coming over here, they robbing and stealing. And I don't understand the reason why we got to register and they don't. The migrants, you mean? Yes. They don't have to register? No, they ain't got to register for firearm, arson, or uh, uh, sex offenders. But we have to in our country. Do you think the black community is being uh swept to the side in, in yeah, favor of these yeah, people? Yeah, cause, because cause they, 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 they sweeping us to the side and they putting them in front of us. I'm a homeless person, bro. Okay. I might not look homeless, but I am homeless, man. And I've been trying to get me an apartment and everything. 10 South Kizzy, police stations, everything, bro. They don't give us nothing. They get all to them, man. I'm a native of Chicago. They just hit and run my friend. And I can show you the pictures. He in the hospital right now. Oh, man. Real talk, it's critical. Okay, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm sorry to hear. You see him? He in the hospital right now. Yeah. The f was it? AM, look at this shit. Right up there, her, real quick. Hold on. Over here. Hey, you just missed that shit, man. Motherfucker just skidded out in the whole street right there, man. Skidded out the whole street, man. I don't know what happened, man. We're about to witness some, some thing go down, I think. Car just spun out of control. You know what's over there? Yeah, he's, he's doing donuts all down the street, spinning. Hits this car, spins out there, bam! He was just spinning the whole way down. What do you think's going on? I don't know what there could have been an incident before that. I don't know what it's went like on, man. Here. We gotta get up out of here soon, man. These motherfuckers. You see old boy right there? He's calling for the sword. Let's go. 
He's coming for the white. He's gonna shoot. Pause. No, 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 no. You don't worry. Police are coming right now. Oh boy, oh boy. Say, are they there? Okay. Think someone got hit? Shot? I, I didn't hear no shots. You know, like I said, I heard it coming, and all of a sudden I look and I see this more yellow uh, Camaro just spinning down the block. Ah, he lost the wheel. Damn. Look at this shit. He hit that car too. Look at it. Multiple cars. Yeah, they were involved in some shit went down, man. Who knows, man? Ten minutes in, we'd witnessed some funny business go down already. And now it was time to go to the infamous O Block, birthplace of Michelle Obama, Little Dirk, Chief Keef, King Vaughn, and Drill Rap. Was it as dangerous as they said? We just pulled up to the O. For real. It's pretty chill. I know, but when you're in the daytime, it's cool. But if you're in the nighttime, I would not recommend. Yeah? Yes, sir, man. You work at night out here? Uh, hell no. Hell no? Uh, if they put me out here, yeah, I ain't coming. I'm quit? I'm gonna call up. I'm gonna call it. <laughs> All right, nighttime is where things get sketch, apparently. I can believe that. We made it to Parkway Gardens. We are in the O. Double ambulance in O block. Double ambulance? What went down? How you doing, man? Good to meet you. Where are we at right now? We're in O block, man. O block, we City. City. We made it. It's all love out here, too. Oh, yo. We got the O. You want to introduce yourself to the camera? Because you're a plug out here. One, six, four, man. You know, straight from O block. You already know. Old Dog Oogie. Old Dog Oogie. You know me, man. Old Block, Ray Rilla. Mr. Jojo K. From the road to the old GMEV, bravo. How is it out here? It is not what y'all portray. Is this place dangerous, or is that a big misconception? That's a misconception. All right, tell me about the O. Why did O get such a bad rap out here? And what has changed? Because poverty. Poverty. They take away all the black men. This shit been happening since the 70s when they enslaved us and started using Christianity and make us believe in a white God to enslave us, to divide and conquer us. They be like the police be on boys. You got ignorant people that's on bullshit with guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all got shot six times over here. Yeah, yeah, I saw him get shot in the face. Who shot you? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Everybody, don't know. Everybody right here got shot. And after making it through the walls of O-Block security, it sort of feels like you're trapped from the inside. Yeah, we get a bad concept about our block just because the shit I heard from 10, 15 years ago, bro. That was 14 years ago. That's 2010, 2011. I feel like we always get a bad rep. Like, we violent and we always get out on people, but we ain't like that. We actually cool, bro. We show hospitality, bro. People think our O-Block, we got all rappers. We do this. We bad. We got hoopers, too. We had hoopers. We had football yeah. players. When did the reputation for Oblock being so violent come to be? 2011, Keith? Yeah. yeah. Keith came out and started rapping, bro. When he started rapping, the drill scene blew up. This is my clothing brand, man. This shit gonna be big. This is the Hector Chicago. How long you had this? In like November type shit. You see what I'm saying? You designed this yourself? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, you wouldn't believe me. I started this shit with a mark and a um, piece of paper type shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Walking in, expecting to be met with Dracos and ski masks, it was surprisingly chill once you actually got inside. People living their lives and trying to make it out of the trenches any way they could. I got the uh, navy blue and white mole hair sweater. Mole hair? Yeah. Whoa. See? That's bad ass, sir. Yeah, bad ass, motherfucker. I'm definitely a Muslim, alhamdulillah. I'm How long you been a Muslim? I've been a Muslim like it's two years now, probably. Okay. What well, converted you? Father, discipline, and a lot of other things. Thought process, it's everything. Yeah. Like, you know? In fact, I saw this meme on TikTok that perhaps serves to contrast the war zone guys like King Von rapped about to the seemingly peaceful ish state the O Block looks like today. It ain't bad. Yeah, how people think it is. Don't let them fool y'all. They, they paint this real bad narrative. It ain't none of that. Really, if you come talk to certain few motherfuckers, you will see that they actually probably got something going on for real. Like, we got cameramen out here, videographers. You got people trying to juggle everything. everything. A lot of Everyone that I've told that I'm coming down here says I was gonna get shot, killed, mugged, robbed. Why do you think that is? They some haters, bro. They lying. We never came here before to actually get the real scoop, like how y'all just did. Right. People just put that image on. On black man, period. So you can make a song about doing drugs and never did a drug in your life. It's entertainment. Look at future. I see. We had a lot of black people that was powerful. Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama. What are your thoughts on O Block out here? O Block is beautiful. I mean, I've been here 23 years. Everyone's very nice and hospitable out here. It's real nice over here. Man, it's beautiful, man. It's all love, man. I like that. We hear everyone's pushing positivity yeah, these days. Yeah, that's all we doing, man. It's all about the kids, man. That's all it's about. Birthday. Let me get oh, happy birthday. What's right. your birthday? 25? How old are you? 13. 13? Yeah, how y'all doing? We're doing pretty good. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. How is it out here? It's my birthday. It's nice. What are you doing for your birthday? Get Hen drunk. Get drunk? Hennessy? You want Hennessy for your birthday? All right, I'll buy you Hennessy. You're at a party tonight? 
I'm fighting tonight. Don't get me wrong, crime is definitely going down in this area. And without these guys having my back, they assured me my camera would have been stolen by now. But slightly baffled by this overwhelming hospitality, before I left, I met up with upcoming rapper Ike Mana, whose music speaks for itself when it comes to changing Oblock's violent reputation. What's going on? I'm just really just working every day, you see what I'm saying? Like, just trying to put our block back at the top like how we was before the king died, you see what I'm saying? Trying to make a miracle happen. Might sure. not be a miracle, though. Saw so you on the, the no jumper, too? Oh, uh, yeah. You've been out sure. about. Do whatever I can to put us back to where we was at, you see what I'm saying? I don't want my kids to grow up like I did. It was violent, dangerous. No, we had fun growing up. Yeah. It's just we had to grow up faster than a lot of people. Like a lot I see you got a tattoo right there. Is that someone you lost? Right here? Yeah. Yeah, that's my homie JC mama. For sure. so a lot of people die out here. Are you desensitized to losing people out here? No, I'm used to it now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we lost so many people, we be used to that. We don't even be crying about that shit. Can you give a little sneak peek of an unreleased piece? Uh, Got a switch up on me, bro. Got perfect, ain't no let them get up on me. Never had a thought that I can put trust in my homie, and that's why I'm fuck with niggas and I get it by my lonely. Okay, uh, yeah, nice voice. Where's got a switch sing, up man? on me. My uh, grandma, but you know that pain I witness that street shit. I live it. Fake love, real feelings. We looked up to the villains. Remorse don't come with killing. Ain't no killing without no killing. <laughs> Yeah, you got a lot of talent, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks yeah. for having us, man. Surrounded by the memories of people who had been killed all around me in every hood I visited, what if we could prevent the violence from taking place in the first place? I met back up with Lucky Chucky and OG Pop to see how the local community is stepping in to try to help end this seemingly endless cycle. I did 20 years in prison. I know what it's like to not have a father figure and to uh, depend on the streets. In any way we can, we help. This is a gym. We take on certain Trouble, troubled you. We're talking uh, that got cases. Like I said, nobody wants to deal with. It's like the program I have now is called Seeds, which is self empowerment and economic developmental system. So the whole idea is to help these young individuals empower themselves mentally, physically, spiritually, and at the same time give them a five year plan so economically they can see where they want to be. Um, Biggs and Javier was one Amen. of the first ones who showed me how to. Uh, Take the first steps back into the community, I want to say, man. I appreciate that, Javier. Hey, man, appreciate you, brother. These guys dying, fighting a war that they don't even know how it began is not cool. It's become so uncool, in fact, you got O-Block Fortnite maps clowning on the nature in which these young kids are killing each other. Wait, let's go to O-Block. Ready to slide for Vaughn or no? Yeah. You got this! Ah, shit! I think we should stop the violence. Shout out everyone in the video and Illusionary Films for the connections. Link in description to everyone. Also, whoever has the most viewed TikTok or YouTube short using a clip from this video, I'll send you $500. Post however many times you want, but you must tag my TikTok slash YouTube at and put YouTube Tyler Oliveira in the title slash description.